Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a very special commission where I'll be showing you some of the costume construction, the face-up, and how I sculpted the horns. This commission was for a customer who wanted a fantasy version of themselves with some horns, and at the end of the video you can see some side-by-side -side photos of the handsome young gentleman and the end result of the work. I decided to use a Deuce Gorgon doll because the skin tone and the shape of the face were most closely matched to the customer's face, but of course Deuce has this piece on the top of the head that I had to remove, and I also cut the top center and glued it, the little piece in the, the top that was uh, inset. I pulled it out and cut it out and flattened it with a heat gun so I could re-glue it back into that space and it would look more normal with the hair. So I did have to also do a slight alteration to the chin. Deuce Gorgon has a dimple in the center of the chin and I wanted to make it more of a cleft chin with the dimple being closer to the bottom. So to do that I used a nail file to sand it down flat and then redid the dimple with a fine sanding block at the bottom. So there I was just popping some holes in the side of the head so I could pull through some of this wire. This is a jewelry wire that's quite uh, it's moldable, but it's not too bendable. There's some like uh, florist wire that's similar, but it's a little bit more bendable. This one is a little more stiff. Then I use some epoxy sculpt, e uh, measuring even amounts of each type and then mixing those together and then sculpted it onto the horn. I'm using a tiny bit of water just to smooth out some of those areas. It just helps me mold a little bit better. And when I say tiny amount, it, it looks like there may be a lot there, but I just kind of touch a little bit of water with my finger and then mold it in. So there I decided the horn was just a little bit too long, so I cut it down and then re-sculpted. So then I did this trick. I used this straw and in order to add the ridges onto the horns. I cut the straw down very shortly to go around some of these sharp corners. It just makes an easy work of that. So I let those horns dry overnight before I added the hair, so I just rerouted it as normal. Then I had, this is probably the only pattern I ever use, somehow I just refuse to make patterns, I know it would make my life a lot easier, <laughs> but I have a pattern for the male pants, so I used that to cut out four pieces and I'm sewing them together here. And I'm just using a faux leather, It's a, the faux leather is much easier to use, it's not as thick as regular leather, and it's... Uh, also cruelty free <laughs> and it's just easier it just looks better in scale to the dolls so after a few coats of mr. super clear I'm going in and using the photos that the customer sent me as reference I'm giving them some giving the face some life Starting with the eyes, I'm using a terracotta Derwent watercolor pencil to do the tear duct and the ivory white for the eyes. Now here I'm just doing some shading using, again, the photos for a reference. I'm using a mix of a, sort of a burnt sienna, pan pastel, and peach. The supplies I use are in the description box below with affiliate links. And as usual, if you use those affiliate links, you don't have to purchase what you have clicked on to in order for us to receive some sort of benefit from that, any purchases using those links. So your support there is greatly appreciated. So now I'm adding some highlights. This just gives some dimension to the face, makes it a little more realistic. So I darkened up the jawline and in the like T-zone sort of area, the top of the nose, bridge of the nose, and eyebrows, and forehead, and chin. It just makes that pop out a little bit better. Darkening in the nostrils. And I'm kind of doing a little bit of shape, uh, using some different shapes to 
um, to give some highlights on the nose similar to those that I see in the photo of the customer's face, if that makes sense. I'm using uh, what very little I have left of my poor Aqua Grip Faber Castell dark brown watercolor pencil to do to darken up the lines in the tear duct and waterline and it makes it a little more realistic and then adding some highlights with white there blending in some white on the bottom lip to give the highlight there and I always make the usually make the top lip darker than the bottom but also trying to remain a little bit natural with that lip since it's a, just a natural lip for this ref the reference photo I'm using. So I used a black pan pastel for the eyebrows and am using a dark or a black pencil for some lines in there. And then adding some white underneath the eyebrows to give a little bit of highlight. And then again, pulling back in some highlights after I've done some shading, I like to go back in and make sure I maintain those highlights by adding some more white pan pastel. I also use some colorless blender on a Q-tip to blend that in. Give them a tiny bit of blush on the cheeks. I really had some fun working on this character. I loved the, the features of this customer's face, so it just was a joy to work on. So if you're watching this, thank you so much. I had a great time working on your custom. So going in with various shades of blue for the eyes. And as always, I'm trying to capture the features of this, the reference photos that I'm using, this customer, but I'm also trying to, you know, stick to my style, the larger eyes, and so it doesn't look exactly like him, but I think it turned out to look pretty close. The customer has a beauty mark on their upper cheekbone, and I added that. And now I'm just kind of defining the shapes a little bit more, adding more layers of color. Once I was done, I added some gloss to the eyes. And this one just didn't need eyelashes attached. I think it looked better without. So if you're interested in a commission yourself, please let me know by emailing me or contacting me on any of my social media sites. I'm on Instagram and Facebook mainly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.